hello i hope you will be having a wonderful day i welcome you on another video by teaching tube this video is an extension of our previous video so if you're watching it for the first time then don't forget to watch the other parts as well to stay up to date with my latest videos and cool learning tips make sure to subscribe teaching tube and we also have a short quiz for you at the end of this video so stay tuned we have already discussed about nucleus, mitochondria, ribosomes and plastids. So moving on to the next organelle which is endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum is basically a network of interconnected channels that extend from cell membrane to nuclear envelope. Now the network exists in two forms. These two types of endoplasmic reticulum are rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Now what's the difference between these two? Rough endoplasmic reticulum is so named because of its rough appearance due to numerous ribosomes that are attached to it. Due to the presence of these ribosomes, rough endoplasmic reticulum serves a function in protein synthesis. And smooth endoplasmic reticulum lacks ribosome and is involved in lipid metabolism and in the transport of materials from one part of the cell to the other. It also detoxifies the harmful chemicals that have entered cell. Now moving on to our next organelle which is Golgi apparatus. It was discovered by an Italian physician named Camillo Golgi. So he discovered a set of flattened sacs which he referred as cisterni. In this set, many cisterni are stacked over each other. The complete set of cisterni is called Golgi apparatus or Golgi complex. Now it is found in both plant and animal cells. It modifies molecules coming from rough endoplasmic reticulum and pack them into small membrane bounded sacs called Golgi vesicles. These sacs can be transported to various locations in the cell or to its exterior in the form of secretions. Centrioles Animals and many unicellular organisms have hollow and cylindrical organelles known as centrioles. Each centriole is made of nine triplets of microtubules, which are also made up of tubulin protein. Now, animal cells have two centrioles located near the exterior surface of the nucleus. The two centrioles are collectively called a centrosome. Their function is to help in the formation of spindle fibers during cell division. In some cells, centrioles are involved in the formation of cilia and flagella. Vacuoles Vacuoles are fluid-filled, single-membrane-bounded organelles. Cells have many small vacuoles in their cytoplasm. However, when a plant cell matures, its small vacuoles absorb water and fuse to form a single large vacuole in center cell in this state becomes turgid. Many cells take in material from outside in the form of food vacuole and then digest the material with the help of lysosomes. Some unicellular organisms use contractile vacuole for the elimination of wastes from their bodies. Discussing the function of lysosomes, these are single membrane bounded organelles. Lysosomes contain strong digestive enzymes and work for the breakdown or digestion of food and waste materials within cell. During its function, a lysosome fuses with the vacuole that contains the targeted material and its enzymes break down the material. So guys, this is all about cell organelles. At the end of this topic, we have a short quiz for you. So our question is, which of the following organelles does not belong to others in the list and why? The given options are mitochondria, chloroplast, ribosome or lysosome. Type your answer in the comments. Till then, bye. See you in the next video.